folk. In addition to that, I mean, as I say, everybody is connected with the fishery. We have men who have come out of university here, school teachers with degrees. We have school principals and ordinary teachers. And all of these are taking a very important part in the, in the production during the trap fishery. Men who, who, these men go out and perform a full-scale operation during the trap season. And they're connected with fish in every, every farm. And just about everybody in this place uh, participates in the fishery, ex excluding our clergymen. What about the future of Beta Verde? Well, to me, the future looks bright. We have some of the best fishermen within the island here. We have all the confidence in the world in them, really. And facilities are getting better for handling fish. Communications are getting better. Wharves are being constructed. Roads, breakwaters out here are being constructed. So I have... Uh, no doubt at all that uh, for the future, things just look bright. Not surprisingly, Beta Verde was really hard hit by the cod moratorium. The Quinlan Brothers plant there is processing crab now, but there's only three crews in the community who are fishing for crab. The population is down from 1,000 to about 600 now, but Paul Emberley is still there. And Pat Quinlan told me just the other day, he said, I'm not as enthusiastic about the future now as I was back then but Beta Verde will definitely survive. I'm Ken Meeker. Join me again next Tuesday for Remember When.